two, one, go. The idea of the Lighter Than Air Vehicle Competition is to give students a hands-on learning experience for things like engineering, physics, uh, design, those sorts of things. That one came completely off. Oh, okay. All of our science classes are really trying to get this hands-on learning approach. You have to worry about things like torque, thrust, center of mass, all the classic kinds of physics things that you do anyways. But in a book, it's one thing. In your hands with the real object, it's completely different. Very much a trial and error process. What happened was we had two motors, um, originally to control it, to control left and right, and uh, when, during, our, during our practice flight actually broke one of them off, so we did it with just the, just the one, and actually I found that to be more beneficial, it wasn't as touchy, um, it, it, it tended to, like, if you have one click on your throttle um, with two motors, it would just, but if you have, with one, I found it was a lot more smooth, a lot easier to control. And I think you could see in the students' eyes when they were actually flying it and building it, you could see in their eyes all the wheels clicking. They're like, oh, I get it. We have to do this. We have to do that. So it's the hands-on learning thing that we we're really going for. The design build process was, uh, was math with the professor, uh, putting it on a piece of paper, working it out on a chalkboard, and uh, and then starting all over again and trying another another idea. We had we had, we had four different designs. Uh, we had uh, four light bulbs go off, and uh, they, every every one of them was beautiful and ingenious. And uh, and everyone we learned on. Nevada NASA Space Grant is who provided the funding for this, and their mission is to educate, inspire, and employ the next generation of scientists and technicians. That funding uh, paid for all the parts required to make this happen, all the radio control units, all the motors, all the batteries. Uh, the cost to the student, right, because again, Nevada NASA Space Grant paid for all these parts. What we asked the students to provide are just whatever structure they thought they needed to put their vehicle together, so usually like balsa wood, that kind of thing. So the cost, the total cost to the team, to the whole team, we estimate about 30 bucks roughly, and that's split out among three to six team members. So we really went to try to have a low hurdle to get people to participate. We want to try to eliminate barriers, make it easy to participate. <laughs> it's, it's too heavy in the front. I, it's just a new experience, you know? Uh, I didn't think I would ever be in a competition like this just because I'm not even like in an engineering class or anything like that. I'm going for dentistry. I just like jumped into it kind of thing. We, we met during lunch. I met my group during lunch and um, to see it actually make the turns that we wanted it to and to um, see how, how well it was going to fly with our new design that we just made like two days ago, you know, it, it was, we were just really excited. What it taught me was a little bit more about teamwork because I do have a big huge problem with that, especially when it comes to, especially talking with people as well, I have a really hard time with that because I wasn't used to being around so much people at the same time. It taught me a little bit more about friendships than, than just teammates, really. I mean, you started off with nothing. I mean, the volume, uh, volume of, of, of the lift force of, of helium. I mean, I didn't know anything about all that in the beginning. I didn't know anything about anything. How are you gonna put your motor on a vehicle? How are you gonna attach the whole thing to the balloon? You know, this is your idea. This is what you're gonna do. Okay, give it a try. Let's see if it works. Uh, teacher, is this the answer? I don't know. There is no answer. You show me. Does it work? That's the answer. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, we saw our, our test flight, the very first test flight, went horrible. You know, and so uh, when it went down and actually, you know, traversed the, the pin and we came back, wow. I mean, wow for my whole team, you know, wow. The classic example of science and math classes are, oh, you have the end of chapter problems and they have solutions in the back of the book. There are no known solutions to what we did today. It depends on whether or not it worked. Did you get the best time? Did you get the fastest time? That's the solution. We started a whole bunch of different directions and ended up pretty darn good. <laughs>